This is how your inbox will look and feel by the end of this video. Empty, clean and well organized and with you feel on the top of your to-do list. Determined and satisfied. So after using Gmail, Apple Mail and Outlook from the last 10 years, I have developed the best practice of email management. So I have talked to my friends, my colleagues and watched countless videos regarding this topic and tried almost everything myself. So after all this time, I have developed three simple methods that you should apply to master your inbox management. So let's dive in and start with the first method, which is automation. So let's jump to my screen. So automation is a key and it can be achieved by two primary ways. Let's start with the first, implementing rules. So rules are powerful because they run automatically on the background based on the condition you set. For instance, when you receive an email from a specific person with a certain subject line, you can have it automatically moved into a certain folder. A common application might be for newsletters. So if you receive newsletter from a certain sender and you might not want to read it, but rather save it for later. So by setting up the rule, you can mark those emails as read and move that emails in a certain folder and ready for when you have time to go through them. So currently I am on my Outlook Classic and to set this up, click on file tab, which is available on the top left corner of your screen and then manage rules and alerts. Click on it. Now you will see rules and alerts dialog box. Now, if you have multiple email address, connected to Outlook. So I have multiple email addresses. Select the one you want to apply the rule to. So I simply select this one. Now click on the new rule to open the rules wizard. And this is my rule wizard and this will guide me through the process. Now first is you can choose a various template from here such as stay organized, stay up to date, Alternately, you can start with the blank rule if you want to create something more customized. So I simply use this first one, apply rule or messages I receive. Now let's say we want to set up a rule that marks all my messages from the specific sender as read and move them to the specific folder. Since this isn't a standard rule, we will start from the blank one. So simply select this one and this will apply it to all the messages currently in your inbox as well as all future messages. Now hit next. Now first we will select the condition that triggers the rule like email from a specific sender. So here is my third one through the specific account. We then define the action. So first after selecting this I need to click on the next. Now the next step is you need to specify the account. So simply click here specified. Now first I need to select from people or public group. Now the second step is I need to assign an email address for this rule. So here I need to select people in a specified group and here rule address. Here I want to enter the email address of that recipient from which whenever I receive an email this rule will automatically mark that email as read and move them to the specific folder. So I simply type this email address. It's a, it's a dummy email address. I simply hit OK. Now the next step is to click on next. Then what do you want to do with the messages? So that will define the action we want to take. So marking the email as read and moving it to a designated folder such as one labeled YouTube. So I select this one, move it to a specific folder. And the second one I select, mark it as read. These are the two conditions I want to do with my incoming emails. So I select both of them. Now, both actions are added here. Now move it to a specific folder. So here I need to specify the folder. Simply click here and I select this one. This is my specific folder. You can also create a new one if you don't have that specific folder already created. You can use this new button from here and that will allow you to create the folder from here. 
also. So again, click on next. Finally, we review the rule, name it and click finish. So simply my name, here is my email address. I don't want to change it. Now here is step two, set up rule options. First is run this rule now on messages already in inbox. Yes. I also want those emails which are already in my inbox to be read and shifted to that specified folder. Second is turn on this rule already selected. Third is create this rule to all accounts. Here this all accounts means your all email addresses which you have already added in your Outlook. So I don't want to do this with all my email addresses. So I just uncheck it or leave it as it is. Now hit finish. Now from now onwards, all incoming messages from that sender will be automatically processed as you have set them up. Second way to automate your inbox is through Outlook Quick Steps. Unlike rules, which runs automatically. Quick Steps is designed to help you with multiple actions. Quick Step is designed to help you with multiple action in just one click. They are perfect for common and repeated tasks and can save you significant time. For example, I often flag multiple emails and set a reminder for a week later, especially when awaited from my colleagues' feedback. So instead of flagging those emails every time, I have set up a quick step that handle it in single click. So to set up a quick step, first go to your home tab and look for quick steps section. So you will see quick step sections and you will find pre-made quick steps for task, separate mail, reply, done, reply and delete and create new. You can also create a custom quick steps, which is what we will do now. So first click on the new quick step. So here is my new quick step. Click on custom here. Now you will see edit quick step dialog box appear. First you need to give it a name. So I name it, say read, move and follow up. Next. Choose the action you want to apply to any email that trigger this quick step. For example, you would mark the email as read. So here you need to click on this drop down and you have to first select mark as read. Hit add action. Now here move to folder. You need to select this. And now another option which is choose folder. You need to set up a folder here. So if you have already created a subfolder, you can select from here or you can directly click always ask for folder. You can simply click on other folders that will take you to select folder area once again. And here you can select your existing folder or you can create a new folder from here. So I will select this folder as an example. Now you can even assign a shortcut key for the quicker action. So you will see shortcut key when you click on this drop down, there are few available keyboard shortcuts which you can assign for this quick step. So I select control shift one. So you will see a message. The reply quick step already uses this keyboard shortcut. Are you sure you want to reassign it? So I have already assigned this keyboard shortcut for my another quick steps so i choose another one which is this this is selected very easily and simply hit finish now you will see once you have finished setting it up your new quick step will appear on the ribbon I will show you click on this expander read move and follow up with the keyboard shortcut control shift and n7 so once i receive any email i simply select it and uh, say I want to read move this email so simply select this email go to quick step this one click this so this way you can very easily use this quick step option to take instant action towards your incoming email so the third method is color coding your email so if you think that automating your inbox could be enough 
to make you on the top of your things think again this this color coding method so this method involve color coding your emails using conditional formatting this allow you to quickly identify your emails received in your inbox for example you are the only recipient in the inbox or you have received the email from your manager so for example when i received the email from my manager i want that email to be change i want that email automatically change its color to red <clears throat> so making them stand out from the rest so let's understand so to set up a conditional formatting go to the view tab and click on view settings you have to select conditional formatting from here now this conditional formatting dialog box appears and where you can define your own rule you will see list of default formats such as unread messages unread group headers messages to other folders like that let's add a new rule for emails where you were the only recipient so click add give your rule a name so i simply name it uh, say boss now choose the font so i have to click on this font now here to highlight those emails i prefer to select red color or green also you can take it but red is good for me now here you can also change the font size font style size you can add effects like strike out underline you can also change the script from here and simply hit okay now define the condition that triggers the format such as emails address only to you so simply hit on conditions so you will see there are more advanced options available like filtering you will see when you click on this field you will have multiple options over here frankly while i don't use these myself you can feel free to explore them and see if they help you create more useful conditional formatting so first i again go to the messages and i want to highlight the email received from a manager so simply click on this from select the email address of your manager from the list if you don't have you can simply type manually or you can type manually here directly so i type my own email address like that hit okay now everything is set again hit okay so once you have set everything up return to your inbox to see your new color coding email in action in a work setting this can make a huge difference in quickly identify important messages so every time when you receive the email from your manager that email will automatically highlight in your inbox so if you feel overwhelmed by the volume of emails even after implementing all three methods it might be time to rethink how you send emails avoid using emails as a chat tool and reframe from sending short one line message throughout the day instead consider using instead messaging or calling for quick exchanges remember every email you send is likely to generate a response for even more outlook tips to boost your productivity check out this video so if you have learned something new from this video please like and subscribe my youtube channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day